This week I thought I would talk about what do you do with those old paintings that you've kind of got a little bit tired of and that are still in your studio, haven't sold and you've now got to the point where you don't really feel comfortable with them either on your wall at home or putting them on a gallery wall. <laughs> so um, I'm sure this is um, a common problem for artists who are constantly churning out work and also it's a good problem to have because it shows that you're evolving and you're growing and what you did a year ago isn't quite what you're doing now and you've you've moved since then and if that work hasn't hasn't moved away from you and into somebody's home then you've you're sort of um, in a little bit of a quandary as to what to do with it so this is my take on it um, I think that every painting has a final resting place and I have certainly um, in my experience I've had paintings that, that have gone into galleries, multiple galleries, and have not sold. And then they have gone into a gallery and they've sold really quickly. Or they, haven't, they have been on my website for ages, nothing happens, and then all of a sudden, two years later, they sell. Um, so that can happen. And so we have to allow that time for the painting to do its rounds, for the people to find your painting and um, for that painting to find its owner and um, I, I think that you have to allow for that time. Now I was in a position recently where I've got a bunch of paintings that I had finished but I hadn't varnished so I didn't really have anywhere to put them. I took photos of them and put them on my website and um, they haven't sold and I've still got the paintings and I, over the time, have, are just feeling more and more slightly doubtful about them. I'm not loving them the way that I did when I perhaps first finished them. I've moved on, I've changed a bit. So do I want to pursue the finding the owner or do I want to make them better and feel more comfortable with them to find their owner? So I've decided that I am in now in a position where I, I can't actually comfortably put them on a gallery wall and put my name to them. I just feel a bit ick about them. So I don't really have a choice. There are other paintings that I've had in the past where over time I still do love them. I still think they've got something that um, is sort of really interesting and that really um, I find very pleasing. Those ones I, I will happily let sit and wait. But this little group of paintings that I have just I've mo I've changed quite a bit in the last year I was much more into shapes and really defined shapes and now I'm getting a lot looser and I'm finding those really defined shapes and things quite tight and and I just they just I've I've changed a bit so what do I do in that situation well here's what I did I discovered acrylic ink Yes, I did. I discovered acrylic ink. I have taken the paintings, splashed acrylic ink over them, moved it around just to loosen up that surface, and then I've gone in and, and, and sort of fixed them up. So looking at this painting here, this painting is now, I'm really happy with it. I, I, I think this is really lovely now. Here's what it looked like before. So what it was like before was much, much more, um, it was sort of tighter, it had lots of really sharp edges, defined shapes, and I had started to move into this sort of loose, looser application of paint, but I, I've taken it a lot further now. So what I did was I um, basically put the paint, painting off the wall and down flat, I dripped some acrylic ink onto it, I got my, um, color shaper, move the ink around with the color shaper. I put some water on it to make it quite liquid and I just sort of um, loosened it up a bit and in the later version you can see this is where the acrylic ink is. And then I came in over the top and softened areas and got rid of parts that I didn't like and, and then sort of uh, finished it up in the way that I like now. So that's a success story as far as I'm concerned. I'm really happy with that. 
Now I've done the same thing with two other paintings, so let me show you those. So as you can see, um, it sort of had one monolithic shape before. So I put the acrylic ink on, and um, this was the Burnt Sienna acrylic ink that's all through here, and it's just giving it a really lovely softness and a sort of a, almost like a glaze, but a bit thicker, a bit deeper in colour. And then I can come in with paint of a similar colour and, and sort of bridge that gap and lose the bits that I don't want anymore and um, just sort of uh, rediscover a new painting really but still keeping the bits that I that I still really like and I've kept most of it around here. I don't think this is quite finished I, I think I want to sort of just soften some of this um, bright red maybe bring in a bit more desaturation but I'm happy with the composition and I really feel like it's it's I brought it up to date to where I am now in my sort of aesthetic preferences. So that's that one. And um, on this one, I did the same thing with the acrylic ink. Um, and you can see it sort of in here. Um, and I also came in with a, um, I drew into this because there's some drawing, fine drawing in here with a pencil. So I drew um, in here with an oil stick and that gives it a much chunkier um, line that's coming in. So you can see I've kept some of the shapes that, um, that were there previously but I've made it sort of a lot looser and um, I'm kind of ha I'm much happier with this now than it was um, previously. I feel like I can put my name down here and um, stand next to it proudly, <laughs> whereas I didn't before. Um, before I felt like it was um, really uh, just too tight and I felt like it had some sort of reference to a bird in it, which originally I did like, but I'd moved, moved on from that. So now I'm happy. So that's, that's, my, that's what I do, or that's what I've recently discovered about how to deal with paintings that um, you are stylistically disengaged from and um, how you can not chuck them away. I mean, I would, to, to gesso over, the, over the, a painting is just like losing everything that's there. So you can still have the bits that you love, but you just... Um, can move, move the other, you know, reshape the painting into what it is that you love more now. Um, so that was my latest discovery and uh, I hope that helps if you have any paintings that um, are now bothering you because they've been lingering around just a little bit too long.